Hello everyone. There's a good chance you may have joined this channel to share with me the epic journey of through hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. There's also a good chance that you're here for our next journey, which is a journey towards optimal health. Uh, if you haven't joined the channel yet, smash that uh, subscribe button, uh, hit the like and the bell icons, and sit back for the ride. You probably believe, like me, that the human body is a miracle. It's uh, incredible, and it can do a lot more things than most of us will give it credit, and maybe even more things than a lot of doctors give it credit for. I surprised myself when this 60-year-old type 1 diabetic of mine moved me down the trail 2,653 miles. Um, I hope you're watching because you want to own your own health. You, um, you're the one who cares the most about your health, or at least you should. And at some point, we start to care about our health. Maybe when I got started getting older, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm getting too old to have neuropathy in my feet. I'm getting too old to worry about chronic kidney disease. I'm getting too old to want to lose my eyesight to um, diabetic uh, retinopathy. So anyway, I, uh, I finally, after many years of not caring too much about my health, thinking, oh, I'm resilient, oh, I'm fine, oh, I'm going to do whatever I want, really started caring. And it was last year when I decided to um, get ready to go on my Pacific Crest Trail journey. So perhaps, like me, you're tired of sitting in a doctor's office where the doctor rushes in after you've been waiting and waiting, you know, um, listens to you, prescribes a medicine, and then rushes out to his next uh, to his next appointment. And you feel left, you, you may feel left wanting, like, I, I just want to understand what the underlying issues are. I really want to understand why am I sick? What's causing this? Not just, you know, take a medicine that masks the symptoms. In fact, I remember a doctor saying to me, hey, uh, you have beginning stages of chronic kidney disease. This was six years ago or so. <clears throat> and he said, but don't worry about it. Because, uh, you know, it's just a result of your diabetes and it's a progressive disease. There's nothing you can really do about it. And when it gets bad enough, we'll prescribe a medicine for you. So I didn't worry about it. But um, last year when I decided, hey, I'm going to own my own health, while the doctors are there and they prescribe the insulin that I need and the thyroxin that I need, they, they don't, they're not really invested in my health. Uh, I am. And I've decided to be. And I'm going to learn everything I can about making myself healthy. I want to strengthen all five of my body's natural defense systems. And we're going to talk about those um, in a book that I'm reading, uh, Eat to Beat Disease. I'm not a doctor. So I'm a retired tax attorney, through hiker of the PCT class of 2022. I'm not going to give you medical advice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the medical science that I've learned and that I've continued to learn. I'm going to tell you where I've learned it, encourage you to research it and uh, do additional, you know, learning on your own. And hopefully together we'll move down this road to optimal health. Today we're going to specifically talk about chronic kidney disease or CKD. So you may... Um, be asking, well, I, I don't think I have chronic kidney disease. I'm not really interested in this. Well, you might because um, 37 million Americans, adults, uh, suffer from chronic kidney disease, some stage of chronic kidney disease. That's one in seven. One in seven adults have some stage of chronic kidney disease. It's the ninth leading cause of death in the U.S. And 33% of adult American uh, are at risk for developing chronic kidney disease. So maybe you don't have it, or maybe you do, and you don't know about it because 90% of those that have chronic kidney disease are unaware that they have chronic kidney disease. And so you might ask, well, why is, why, why is that unawareness so high? 
And primarily it's because chronic kidney disease symptoms are mild, if not noticeable, or maybe you think there's something else before they become severe. So I had, when I got my numbers, so I decided to go get a blood test. I, I, I did some research. Oh, what do I need to test? Oh, I need to find out what my estimated glomerular filtration rate is or something like that, EGFR. Um, and so I did a renal panel. I, I got online, walk-in labs. I ordered uh, a renal panel. I, I went into LabCorp. They took my blood. Within the next day or two, they give you results. And when I did that, I found out, yep, I do. I have stage 3A chronic kidney disease. So there um, are five stages. The first stage of chronic kidney disease is when you have a filtration rate of you know, 90 or above, up to 120. And that's not really considered chronic kidney disease, um, but that's, they still call it stage one. Stage two is when you have a filtration rate between uh, 60 and uh, 89. And that's, you know, mild kidney damage. Um, the kidneys still work well. The next stage, stage three, is divided in stage 3A and 3B. Stage 3A is when you have mild to moderate kin kidney damage. The kidneys don't work as well as they should, but they're still working pretty well, and you probably don't notice any symptoms. And that's where my numbers fell. I fell at, um, I think it was 59, right, right there, just beginning stage 3A uh, of chronic kidney disease. It's a it's be considered a beginning stage, right? And also 3B, where you have moderate uh, to severe damage, and that's where you have a filtration rate between 30 and 44. So 45 to 59 is 3A, 30 to 44 is 3B, and stage 4 is where you have a filtration rate between 15 and 29. That's advanced chronic kidney disease. And um, you probably are starting to notice some symptoms then. And then finally, stage five, which is considered end stage chronic kidney disease or renal failure, is when you have a filtration rate of below 15. And at that point, uh, your doctor is probably recommending you get on dialysis. When you finally have kidney failure, there's nothing that can save you except a kidney transplant. And there's not enough kidneys out there for a kidney transplant. So let's not ever get there. Now, my doctor had told me it's a progressive disease. It's because of your diabetes and there's no real cure for it. So maybe, you know, monitor it and then give you medicine when you get further down the road. Well, I believe the body is amazing. And... I believe that we can heal a lot of things, even if doctors don't think so. Especially in my case where my chronic kidney disease was mild. It was, it was a filtration rate of 59, uh, just beginning stage 3A of chronic kidney disease. So I will throw up some of my numbers here for us to take a look at. Okay, here are my numbers. On um, September 13th, 2021, last year as I was preparing for my uh, Pacific Crest Trail through hike, I went and got my numbers for the first time, and my number was 59, which is just, begin just right there on the edge, just beginning stage 3A of chronic kidney disease. Then <clears throat> I was already I was already into a low carb diet at that point, so it may have. From its worst, it may have come up. I don't know. I really don't have a benchmark from from where. So that's worst from where I've taken numbers. Uh, December 10th, 2021. Uh, so three months later, I ran another test. Again, I've been exercising and doing a very low-carb diet. My filtration rate improved up to an 83, which is a stage 2 chronic kidney disease. Uh, three months later, March 4th in 2022, just before I was getting ready to go out on my, uh, my long hike, my filtration rate was 81. So it's kind of had come down just a teeny bit, uh, 81 from 83. And then finally 
on October 3rd, 2022, a month after I got off trail. I uh, had my blood tested and my filtration rate was a 90, which is right there on the border. Um, you know, one point lower, 89, it would have been in stage two, but that's stage one. And I am hoping and expecting continued and improved, uh, continued improvement and healing of my kidneys. Now, while doctors say you, it's a progressive disease and your hid, kidneys can't really heal, I think some doctors I've heard are starting to say, well, maybe beginning stage kidney disease, you can reverse it. And they say you have to look at if whether it's transitory uh, due to a transitory nature, like an infection or something like that, that you can clear up, or whether it's due to a chronic condition that uh, you can't really clear up. Well, they'll put diabetes in that chronic condition. And if you're type 2 diabetic, you can heal that type 2 diabetes. If you're pre-diabetic, you can heal that. So in my mind, that's transitory because with the right diet changes, you can correct your path, your metabolic syndrome, and your path down the diabetic path. So um, I hope that whatever your situation is, you might take some hope from my journey that you will uh, hopefully believe that you can improve your chronic kidney disease and heal yourself. And um, again, I'm not giving you medical advice, but the two major factors that cause damage to your kidneys are elevated blood sugar levels, like 60% uh, of the damage is caused because of that, and then high blood pressure, like another you know, 20%. So 80% of the damage done to your kidneys is, be, it, that may be, 60% might be a little high, but a very high percentage of the damage done to your kidneys is done by elevated blood sugars and high blood pressure. Those two factors are the biggest contributing factors outside of some other, you know, issue or disease that you might be suffering from. So if you control your high blood pressure and you control your, your um, blood sugar levels, you're on a way, you're on the way to healing your kidneys. So if you don't know if you have kidney disease and you suspect, get it checked. Just get it checked. Get a get a renal panel, check what your filtration rate is, you know, do a little research on the internet. That's how I figured it out. And move towards more optimal health with healing of your kidneys. And that's it for this uh video. So I hope you uh pay attention to whether or not. You uh, might have chronic kidney disease. You investigate it. You learn. You own your own health. Even if you ask your doctor, hey, doctor, can you order a renal panel for me? That's fine. Do it. Save yourself a few dollars. Don't have to go to walk-in lab and go to local lab corp or something like that. But get it tested if you at all suspect you may have chronic kidney disease because 90% of those that do don't know it. All right, that's it for today. Catch you down the trail.